I'll make you my priority Cause you're one of the minorities YouTube, what is up? What's good you guys? It's the Bull Nate Shout out to the Bull Nate, y'all feeling good man I'm feeling good as always, you know, subscribe, like, comment on the videos as well. Y'all been showing so much love on the videos recently, so I appreciate y'all. Look at so much, man. 2023, we're going up, we're going up. But in today's video, I'm going to give y'all five things to, you know, either look forward to or to just know before you head to the Grand Cayman. For everybody that know, you know, I dropped three, you know, videos on my recent uh, Grand Cayman trip, so... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna give y'all five things to know so y'all so you know, make your trip a little, little easier to plan, a little bit easier to navigate. So, first one is the currency exchange. So, this might sound pretty wild to y'all, but actually, the, the um, US dollar is actually worth less than the Cayman dollar. So, one US dollar is about like 80 cents over there. So, for example, Five U.S. dollars is four their dollars. Ten U.S. dollars is eight their dollars. Fifty U.S. dollars is forty of their dollars. So that's that, that's pretty much like one. I say that's one of the biggest things to take take into consideration because your trip might get a little pricier than you think because the dollar's worth less. Also, oh, nigga, my wallet. <clears throat> yeah, like kind of see what what the bills look like. Hold on. There we go. But yeah, this is this is kind of what the bills look like. They they all like different colors for different amounts, and they got the queen on the thing. So yeah, so that's the first one. Two, pretty much all of the restaurants and I guess we'll say nightlife and bars are in in Georgetown, which is the capital of uh, Cayman Islands, or is in Seven Mile Beach. Which is pretty much where like all like mean like the, the tourists and uh yeah, but the tourists pretty much stay at so because we stayed in uh Baden Town. So Baden Town is kinda like, like on like the whole other side of the Grand Cayman Island. So that was little, yeah, but that's a bit a bit of struggle because that's pretty much more like residential countryside part but like i said georgetown this is the capital that's it got a lot of like bars and restaurants and some of my beach stuff has a lot of nightlife and bars and different like uh attractions to go to and number three there is no uber or lyft in great cayman it's only taxis and the taxis can get expensive you know especially especially you know if you live in like far from all the attractions so you gotta take Taxi to attraction, they take a taxi back and keep doing that back and forth. So it could definitely, you know, run your pockets a little bit, especially again, depending on the US dollars, because obviously, like I said the dollar's worth less over there. So it could definitely, it, like, like the trip itself could get definitely could get prices. So I definitely recommend, you know, bring bring more than you probably think you need because, let's say, between taxis and between, you know, going out and, uh, you know, restaurants, attractions. You're gonna you're gonna end up spending more money than uh than you think you would. Trust me, trust me. So, so we had to pull more money out of the, um, the ATM than we initially thought. So yeah, so okay. I just want to keep that in mind. Number four is actually gonna be diversity. So when we first got there, like our first like uh, taxi driver was like, yeah, like this seventy thousand people on the island, but only twenty one thousand are actually like native. What came in? Caymans? Caymans? Caymanians? Yeah, there you go. But yeah, so you could definitely find out like there's a whole different nationalities and this is ethnicities. There you go, neat on the island. So and like you can tell that from the restaurant because like there's like American restaurants, there's Jamaican restaurants, there's um, you know Mexican restaurants like. It's so much diversity on the island, so it's kind of like it's not, it's not like a, it's not like really like a main, like, it, um, I guess a main culture really. It pretty much, it pretty much is like a whole like mix of people. So that that like like and like that kind of caught my guard. I'm like, dad, like I ain't no places like this like diverse. Like I do kind of be like more like you know, like native people there, but you no know, like they like they get people from different uh, places for like work and things like that mainly. So. 
So that's that. And then last but not least, number five, if you're like, and like, this is pretty much like if you're staying like, you know, long term or something like that. But on Sundays, the grocery store and the liquor stores are closed. Yes. On Sundays, they are closed because um, church is huge over there. Like, like pretty much like riding around, like you see a bunch of different like churches like around. So, yep. So that means on Saturdays, you know, if you know you're gonna be there, like, it's like if you even like Monday or Tuesday or it's in there, something like that. Be sure to, you know, stock up on the snacks. You got to stock up on the, the juice. Stock up on your favorite beverage. Because on Sunday, you'll be S-O-L. You'll be out of luck. So, those are pretty much the five things to, you know, take into, take into consideration. We get to Grand Cayman. Um, like I said, like, great place. It's beautiful. Just great weather. Um, where we stayed at. Maybe like a nice view of the beach. It's definitely definitely a fun trip. But however, like I said, it gets expensive. We got and you know where, where the attractions are. Kind of like help helps where you want to stay at. Take how to take too many taxis or the taxi drives not too far. So it'll be less expensive for you. Anything like that. So so always like the, like the video. Give it a thumbs up. I'm gonna try to do this like every time I travel outside of the uh, United States. I'm gonna try to. You know, do like five things to know or five things that I've seen or maybe like a different kind of review video. You know, you know, help people out. So as always, I catch you next time.